Hi everyone, it is lovely to meet you all here today. I am Karen from Indonesia and today I will be talking about how photojournaling can support individuals in processing their feelings and thoughts. And I will be exploring how taking pictures and documenting events and experiences might improve how you and I both perceive ourselves to the world. First, let's define what journaling is. Journaling is writing down our thoughts and feelings in a journal as a reflective tool that helps us understand things better and it also entails a cyclical process of observation and reflection. We can better analyze and make sense of our emotions and experiences by putting our ideas and feelings in writing. While photojournaling is the practice of using photography to document our experiences, thoughts, and emotions, photographing our surroundings as well as self-portraits or other representations of our inner world are examples of what it can entail. After that, we can turn to writing to make sense of the photographs we have taken. When I was a kid, I used to write a diary to explain what I felt and experienced. Bullying happened to me and it was a traumatic life event that negatively impacted my emotional health and made me afraid to voice my opinions. As time went on, uh, my interest in people grew and I decided to major in psychology for both my bachelor's and master's degree to better understand the complexities of the human condition, the variety of human characters, and to discover the larger context that influenced my childhood experiences. In addition, my interest in photography as nonverbal communication has helped me to communicate my feelings and thoughts to foster healthy social relationships, particularly with myself. So combine these two things, psychology and photography, to increase my self-awareness and discover fresh perspectives of people and the world. So I do photojournaling to externalize my thoughts, my feelings, to make them more concrete and easier to process. By deciding what to pictures and how to frame it, Photojournaling can also give me a sense of control and help me stay in the present. I'm forced to slow down and really pay attention to what is happening around me. Thus, I can create a narrative that reflects and incorporates my unique perspective and experiences. This can be such an empowering especially in situations when I'm feeling helpless or overwhelmed. So let me provide some examples to illustrate how photojournaling works for me. Initially, I start my photojournal either right after I get up in the morning or right before I go to bed at night. I come across an image that perfectly captures how I'm feeling at the moment or an image that I took randomly that day or from the previous days in my gadget archive. Next, I try to interpret the photo based on the memory or emotion that arises when I see it. By taking photos of my surroundings or choosing photos that remind me of the person, event, or relationship, I begin to reflect and process my emotions and make sense of what I'm feeling. The photographs I snap or select might reveal patterns and circumstances that are present in my inner world. Also, it can help me to contemplate and memorize unfinished particular things that might affect my life and to reflect on how my perceptions of the place or culture have changed over time. So, during the pandemic era, I compiled all my photo journals into one book titled Mother's Letters in the Time of Corona, 
stay home, keep growing, which I will leave uh, as a legacy to my children in the future, whom I don't know exactly now. So this will let them know that their mother is a survivor. Through this photo journal, I was talking and writing later to my future children. However, I realized that when I wrote a letter, I was actually talking to myself with my inner child, talking about unfinished business from the past that I was never confronted with or hesitant to bring up, as well as previously unspoken things related to my relationship with my parents, sisters, partner, and my surroundings. So with photo journaling, I may therapeutically externalize my inner work and learn new things about myself and my experiences. In addition, I also use photography as a tool to encourage those around me or in my community to talk about subjects that are taboo to talk about, such as concerns of gender identity and sexuality, which have grown into research topics for me to be able to continue my PhD studies. In conclusion, photojournaling is an effective method for expressing our thoughts and feelings. You will be astonished by what you learn about yourself and the world around you if you give it a try and see how it can help you on your own personal journey of self-discovery. I am very welcome to receive any kind of feedback and if you would like to contact me for further discussions, please reach out to my email. Thank you.